need to hurt Leo or Roma. Not everyone's going to believe us. I know you've been hiding something, and I want to know what it is, and I want the truth, Xavier. She's not breathing. What? Oh, God. I can't get a pulse. We need an ambulance. Yeah, okay, one. Still no pulse. Please help. One, two, three, four. Tony, compressions. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He's settled. He's having a nap. Why didn't you tell the truth about the accident sooner? I was scared what would happen to him. And you thought lying would make things better? If the cops find out and put Brennan away, it'll kill him. You know it will. What was I meant to do? Come to me. Or your brother. You can't make this kind of decision on your own. I'm sorry, OK, but it was really full on. I was just trying to do what I thought was best for Brendan. Yeah. I'm sorry, too. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Oh. So what are we going to do now? What are you doing home already? I, I thought the reception would still be going. Uh, Bell Taylor collapsed. Are you serious? Is she OK? We're not sure. They're on their way to the hospital now. W what happened to her? Well, one minute she was just sitting there, the next she was on the ground. Alf reckons she's had some sort of drug problem recently. Well, no way. How are Tony and Rachel? They're pretty shaken up about it, but... What's going on? Why did you leave the reception when I asked you not to? Why don't you sit down? There's something Xavier needs to tell you about Roman's accident. I just don't know what I'd do if he didn't wake up. Well, he's been through a lot of tough stuff in the past. I'm sure he'll get through this. I should probably go do some study. Do you mind looking after him until Leah gets here? Of course not. Bye, Dad. Love you. See ya. See ya. Oh, my God. Rachel. What have we got? Suspected polypharmacy overdosed. 20-year-old female found at scene in cardiac arrest. CPR given at scene. GCS 12. Can you get the medical registrar down here? Do an emergency ECG, BSL, bloods, FBC, EUC, uh, blood alcohol and baseline LFTs. Yep. She's probably going to need her airways protected, Sue, so can you set her up for intubation and page the anaesthetist on call? Let them know what's going on. I need some more hands in recess bay too, please. What the hell was Brendan doing out there alone in the first place? You were supposed to be watching him. And where did he get the elastic from? What, you got nothing more to say? Hugo. This is serious, Mum. I know, which is why those questions can wait. Right now we need to figure out what we're going to do. Well, now you're an accomplice to the crime. I bet you didn't think about that before you decided to handle things on your own. Stop attacking him, Hugo. It's not helping. Yes, Xavier should have come to us sooner, but he was scared for Brendan. He wanted to protect his brother. Oh, don't give me that. His heart was in the right place. Rubbish. Roman could die. You don't think I know that? I don't reckon you think at all, except for saving your own backside. Oh, what? what? The only reason you didn't say anything is so you didn't cop any flack for not looking after Brennan. It was about protecting you, not him. Hey. Oh, stop Save it. You. Stop it. This isn't helping. I said stop it. We need to work this out together as a family, for Brendan's sake. Well, obviously, we can't go to the police now. They'll crucify you both. I need some air. Why haven't you been answering your phone? What's wrong? Something happened to Roman. No, it's Belle. She's at the hospital. They think she's OD'd. <sighs> give you a lift anywhere, mate? No, thanks, mate. I'm all right. Huh? You haven't heard our bell's getting on, have you? Sorry, no news yet. I hope that drama didn't upset young Brendan too much. Oh, luckily he wasn't there to see it. He was getting a bit restless, so Xavier took him home early. Oh, you've got to admire Xavier, the way he looks after that boy. I'll tell you what, they've got a very special bond, those two. See ya. Where's Xavier? 
in his room, taking time out too. Why are you being so hard on him? Everyone makes mistakes at that age. You should know that better than anyone. Yeah, but the difference is I learn from my mistakes and turn my life around. Xavier seems hell-bent on stuffing up time after time and not changing. There was a time I could have said the same thing about you. You've got every right to be disappointed in him. I am too, believe me, but... There are ways of dealing with things, and jumping down his throat is not one of them. We need to help him. And are we doing any better keeping the truth from the police than Xavier did by lying to them in the first place? Because this isn't some little prank. You're probably right. I, I don't know. But we need to take some more time to be absolutely certain before we do anything. Because going to the police will have serious consequences for them both. And I'm not sure Xavier's any more able to deal with the consequences than Brendan is. Hey, how is she? We don't know you. Still for me, please. Here's the ECG. Belle, wake up. Open your eyes. Can you hear me? It's Rachel. CG's normal. She's reacting to pain. I'd go for flumazin on 200 micrograms over 15 seconds. If that works, you might be able to avoid invasion. Yeah, let's hope so. Do I follow that up with 100 micrograms per minute? You're up to one milligram in total. All right, Bill, calm down. Calm down for me. Can we get another bag of saline up there, please? I can handle it from here. I want to stay. Rachel, it's your wedding day, for goodness sake. Go home. Don't you have a plane to catch? Flumazinol, 200 micrograms going in. Rachel, how's she doing? She's stabilising a little bit. They're doing everything that they can. She's going to be OK, yeah? You OK? Yeah. BP's dropping. Now get those fluids and give her two milligrams of naloxone IV. Guys, We need the urine screen. We've got to know what she's I'll taking. I'll chase it up. Come on, Belle, stay with me. 